have a huge box stuff. Is that my address? Full of fragrances. Ah, let's just get started. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mariam, AKA Cypriot Sister Sense. I love watching hauls and today I'm gonna film one. Literally this box is full to the brim. It's that time of year where everything's on sale. Oh, guys, I genuinely forgot what I got. It's like a present to myself. I need some test strips here. I've just got some test strips. Just in case we're gonna need to, why am I out of breath? Let's just get the boring and the basics out of the way. The things I got backups of. I can't be doing this, my thumbnail fell off. So I did get a backup of my Chirosa 71 by Sol de Janeiro. This is caramelized vanilla and macadamia. I'm running through this like water. I love this stuff so much. One, it layers so well with everything. Two, it's literally one of the best body sprays in the world. Three, it's really good performing for a body spray, so. Can't go wrong with that one. I got a backup of my K. Ali Vanilla Royale. Ah! When I hear the word limited edition and I love a fragrance, there you go. I will continue to grab backups of this whenever I catch it on sale. Incredible. Everyone knows what this is. This is creme brulee, brown sugar, patchouli. It smells like a very expensive wood. This is my favorite from K. Ali. Actually, it's one of my favorite fragrances of all time, if you guys already didn't know. It's literally in my top three or four fragrances and I have more than a hundred fragrances so yeah oh yeah so the story behind this okay so i got a backup of the fenty beauty um body butter you know the cinnamon one warm cinnamon shimmering whipped oil body cream so this came out last year or the year before and it was a uh, limited edition for the holiday it layers so well with most of my fragrances i ordered a backup when it was released when i went i just absolutely loved it but royal mail were having strikes and they lost my package <laughs> And then I went back on the website and Boots was like, this is never coming back in stock. And I was like, wow, I was so upset. Anyway, and then when I saw that they brought it back this year, I was like, I snapped it up. I used my lunch break at work to walk all the way to Harvey Nichols. It was 30 minute walk there, 30 minute walk back to work. And I sprint walked, I was sweating and I picked this up up it smells gorgeous it's got a very light i can't even it's not even shimmer it's an actual glitter in this sometimes i'm brushing my teeth in the morning and i can see on my chest that this glitter is still on me from the night before this is amazing so janked up oh my gosh this is my la via belle intensement not intense intensement it's more of a raspberry version of la via belle when it dries on the skin it's very marzipan-y and i love this so anyway so i ended up getting a 15 ml of it because i feel like i didn't need a full bottle it's not something i would wear probably all the time guys i wore this to work once and about three different girls in the locker room were like what is that smell i was like is it me and i walked up to her and i made her smell my hand she was like oh it's you what is it and then i was like it's levia bell intensement they were like what lancome i was like yeah and then i got another compliment and she was like you smell really good you know like those girls that smell really good you smell really good and i was like oh. so Look how pretty that bottle is! Um, yeah, so I ended up getting a 50ml only because I can't believe how many compliments this got me. It's so janked up because I keep it in my bag, but I'm literally almost done. I don't know if you guys could see, this is, looks a little bit more orange and this looks more pink. I haven't even had this that long and it's changed colour already. Since we were talking about body creams earlier, I did get this Tom Ford Noir Pour Femme Body Cream. I remember loving this fragrance before they discontinued it. Very heavily discounted, so I was like, I'm just gonna grab it. It has a very nice heavy dose of vanilla, so I feel like it will layer again with a lot of my fragrances that I already own. Okay, what should we talk about next? I got a Theodoros Calodini's fragrance. This is Jasmine of Athens. I have given this a really good wear already. A lot of people, oh, so good. A lot of people said it smells a little bit like banana. It's a very creamy vanilla. A lot of people are comparing this to Intense Chiare by Montau, which I kind of get that vibe, but it's not. This is creamier. Intense Chiare can come across a little bit screechy, a little bit synthetic, whereas this is so creamy, so vanillic, so beautiful. And if you love Jasmine, which I absolutely do, as it dries down more and more, it gets sweeter and sweeter and I get that banana thing that people talk about and it's just stunning and I can't wait to wear this in the summertime. I can never go wrong with the jasmine fragrance. I love jasmine fragrances. It doesn't smell like Tom Ford Jasmine Rouge. It is different. It's different enough to have and if you love jasmine and you love a creamy vanillic jasmine, raw cherry by Aaron Terence Hughes. Let me show you this bottle. Schwavosky crystals on the lid. What? And it's a magnetic lid. 
this is so stunning if you want an expensive smelling cherry this smells so this smell i don't even know where to start <laughs> you know the hard boiled sweets that when you put them in your mouth and they're like sour like a sour hard boiled candy this is one that you need to spray on your skin and let it develop it has so many layers it's stunning i love it it's boozy it's got a bit of wood in it got a nice chocolatey undertone very out there you have to be a bold i'm not going to say woman because this i really feel like a man could wear this too it smells like no other cherry fragrance i've ever smelled in my life as soon as i smelled this i was like yep i found my dream cherry fragrance because i've been on the hunt for ages guys all the cherry fragrances they smell a bit cakey they're a bit almondy they play it safe this he doesn't play it safe with any of his fragrances this is incredible this is amazing longevity this thing it won't come you need to have at least two showers for this thing to come off your skin i'm not sure how many compliments it would get you because i can't see it being mass pleasing but i do like that about it mm. i also got this one <laughs> guys look at the name of this perfume are you seeing what i'm seeing look at the name of this fragrance oh this is so nice this is another one that, that you need to put on your skin it does have a lot of florals in it it does open up quite citrusy like a lot of his fragrances even raw cherry it does open up quite citrusy and then it just gets deeper and deeper and deeper guys this guy is a master in perfumery i swear you get everything you want it's unique as well what more do you want from a fragrance i got my first initial so this is psychedelic love Oh my god, the story behind this one. I set out that day to get myself an initio. So my mum has absolute aphrodisiac. She's in love with it. And she said, I want to save psychedelic love for you. I think that's your fragrance. You need to get it. You're going to love it. It's amazing. Look at the bottle, please. I actually wanted a purple bottle as well. My mum said, this is a grower. And she's right. This had to grow on me. I'm in my deepest I've ever been in Gourmet. You'll see the next five fragrances I'm going to show you after this are intensely gourmand like food that's what i was kind of expecting from this but it's not okay but it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to smell like food to smell good i sprayed it i was like it's nice but why is it's not hitting the, the spot i just like it right now i need to love it to buy it right i sprayed my hand i gave myself a few sprays went about into the store i went over to the nars counter and i was going to pick myself up a concealer i was talking to the sales lady and uh, as i was talking to her she goes you smell insane by the way i was like it was a sign i was like what yeah what is that you smell insane i was like it's an issue of psychedelic love I, i'm thinking about buying it but i'm not sure i've just sprayed myself just to see if i like, like people spray that stuff all the time but this is that like this is so unique i'm like this smells gorgeous this is and it's quite it's quite vanillic i was like yeah it's vanillic yeah. say less say less i'm going to buy it it's my sign i was so happy and you know what it smells gorgeous my mum gave the analogy that it smells a little bit like a strawberry milkshake which she's absolutely right it dries down almost powdery almondy on my skin but I, I think it's the heliotrope that gives it that vibe but this is so sweet this is feminine this is airy this is strong without being sickly sweet in your face it's just feminine and it's just polite it projects and bubbles politely it doesn't slap you in the face it's not offensive it's gorgeous it's likable yeah, me and that girl at the counter got talking and it turns out we got quite similar taste in fragrances um don't you just love that when you meet someone and they have the same taste anyway but that's psychedelic love stunning i love it i'm gonna wear it more it's definitely gonna be included in a lot of my videos thank you so much to my mom for hooking me up because wow i got some juice fragrances <laughs> Uh, guys, I've not smelt this yet. I'm so beyond excited to smell this. I've got Accident I Love Anee. Well, I'm so excited to smell. I bet I love you. I also got Ramdan Night. This is actually spelt Ramdan. I wanted this specifically to make a nice scent memory when Ramadan comes. So I'm going to be wearing this during Ramadan. But thirdly, I don't know why I didn't say this in the beginning. I got a backup of Gourmand Bahul. This is, you know when you smell it and you hear the angel singing. That's what this is. This is incredible. It actually smells like, you know when you're warming milk up? on the stove and you pour caramel in there and the caramel's warming up with the milk and then it gets and you start to smell a little bit of burning so it slightly gets a bit smoky but it's still so uber creamy sweet mouth watering oh my, my mouth is actually doing that now you get so much bank for your buck this thing projects and lasts and sillages everything but these two i haven't smelt yet so we're gonna smell them together the first impressions i'm really excited about this oh! I'm going to wear this exclusively in Ramadan. Look at that mist. Okay. 
This one is definitely gonna have to be a grower. I'm getting like a leathery touch to in there. Some spices. I'm getting a sweetness in the background from the date, but not. it's not at the forefront right now. It's nice, I can see this developing and getting sweeter on the skin. So this smells so distinctive. I can't compare it to anything in my mind right now. But I would easily be able to make a scent memory with this. I'm gonna wear this this Ramadan, 100%. Now for the one I'm so excited about. Oh, I'm messing the paper up. No, look at that. Beautiful. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I can smell Ramdan Night on that test strip. That's mad. It's really nice. Oh, this is one of those where in the air it's good too. I have been dying to get my hands on this. I was waiting for it to go on sale to get it. Could this be my ultimate gourmand? By the way, guys, this is supposed to smell like this. Chirosa 71 by Sol de Janeiro. I don't want to waste you on a test strip. You're going straight on my skin, babes. Oh my god. Oh, guys, I'm getting the comparison. This smells, this is, I found my dream duo. If you're having issues with this last thing, get this. That's amazing. It's just so vanillic. As it's drying down, I don't think that this note is listed, but I'm getting a cinnamon. I'm definitely getting like a cinnamon or a spice. You know, like pumpkin spice? That's so weird. But it doesn't have a popcorn vibe. It has more of a cinnamon swell. No, no, no. I'm getting a cinnamon a cinnamon bakery smell. Where's the box? I literally threw the box over here because I was so excited. Hey, Accidental Ebony, you are a win. I'm so happy I to own that. I don't really like to buy samples if I know I'm probably going to like it. I do take a lot of risks, you know. That's mad. Next, I bought Vanille Absolute by Montel. ASMR. So I never picked this up because, I don't know why I never picked it up. Okay, I heard this smells a little bit like chocolate greedy in the dry down. Um, an amazing discount for 100 ml. So I was like, okay, why not? And you can never have enough vanillas in your fragrance collection. I love that new Montel feeling. Oh my gosh. I said new and I'm flicking, I'm breaking already. Got the classic Montel bottle. Nice little aluminium, feels like nothing's in it. Okay, so this one is, is actually supposed to have cinnamon in it. Okay, wait, I'm, oh, stop. Why am I getting a banana? Guys, I'm always getting, when I smell vanilla, it gives banana all the time, every time I smell it. This doesn't smell like chocolate greedy, which I'm happy about. This is nice, this is like cake batter. Mm, okay, wait, I need to try this on my skin. It's doing that Montel thing where it's really synthetic in the beginning and it hurts my nose. Uh. Mm, vanilla, a little bit of a spicy touch. This is more perfumey. This would be a nice thing to layer with. Guys, this, this is vanilla batter, cake batter. You know when you make cake and you've got that gooey batter and you know some people like me, they make cake just to have the batter so they can lick the bowl. That's what this is. Right, and the very last fragrance. I'm so excited to share this one. Okay, so I got Baklava Pearlescent Perfumes. The box is really nice. I like the texture on the box. Oh no, I ripped the lid. Oh, this bottle is stunning. Why did I not rip? Look at the bottle, guys. Marble. I'm from Cyprus. Baklava is a big thing in my country. Okay, let's try on a test strip first. Is this going to live up to my expectations? Oh, orange. Zesty. Okay, this is opening up very citrusy. So don't ever take someone's first impressions as um, what this thing smells like. It needs to grow and you need to understand it. Does that make sense? Okay, I'm getting a blast of like an, does this have orange blossom in it? This is a weird one. I can smell patchouli as well. Okay, so I think this one might have to be a grower. But clever, is it overly sweet? The middle is overly sweet, but the pastry at the top isn't as sweet. So maybe I kind of get what they've done. They've made it not overly sweet. This isn't overly sweet. Definitely get like an orange, sweet orange, orange blossom blast. As it's drying down, now I'm getting that pastry thing. Maybe pistachio. I'm not getting any almond. Honey, it is more of a honey than it would be a syrup. I wish that they put like a maple sap or a maple syrup note in this. That would have sealed the deal for me. But I told you guys, my boundaries for sweet is limitless. Like... So they could have made this sweeter for me. Oh, look, it kind of goes with my aesthetic today. Oh, baklava with my little Cypriot top. Oh, how cute! I hope this one projects. I feel like this is gonna have a gorgeous sillage. Guys, this is getting much sweeter and much more syrupy on the skin. Keep an eye out, follow me on Instagram if you don't already. I'm gonna be doing updates on how these fragrances are doing for me. My camera is actually flashing at me. All right, I get it, you're low battery, flip sake. I really enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below if you have any of these. What are your thoughts? Let's have a chat. What did you grab in the sales? Not me. Hello to all my new subbies. Hi.
really appreciate you guys subscribing. It means the absolute world to me. I really enjoy making these little fragrance videos. They uplift me. They take me away in another world and I love doing them. Don't forget to thumbs this video up if you liked it. Please click the thumbs up. It helps push my channel out. It helps motivate me to make more videos. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching now. I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Mwah.